What's up guys? It's Jules. Time for a stitch with me. Can you tell what we're doing just by looking at that little bit? Just by looking at that little bit. I bet you can if you've been watching for a while. This is ah, baseball. Baseball, Ray. Baseball. Um, time to get back on some of these patterns that I have been wanting to get back on. I have been needing to get back on. Right, birds? Birds are going to start talking even though they've not said a word all day until now. I'm going to do a little bit of something something here. Alrighty. So it is Saturday morning. Well, midday Saturday. We just got back a little while ago from taking Zuzu to the big dog celebration they have here in town. The Saturday after... Oops. The Saturday... Ha! After Labor Day, where they do a, um, basically they just they fill the pool and say, okay, all the dogs, everybody, all the dogs get in the pool. And it is crazy. And it is a ton of fun. I think it's like the best day all year. If you like dogs, if you just like dogs to see dogs do their thing, it's like the greatest thing ever. They're all so happy and they're funny. And don't worry, I took like 20 plus minutes of video while we were there, at least. And uh, I'm going to edit it in uh, later for a... Probably throw a little bit on the vlog for next week. And then also uh, put it on the uh, pet channel. So if you don't... Have you haven't watched the pet channel, the link will be about... Yeah, the link will be down below. There also may be a link up above for... it's uh, This house is a zoo channel. And... So it's going to be, uh, going to have a lot of good, try to edit some stuff together to, to show some really cool things and then probably just do also just the long form of, if you just want to sit there and watch a bunch of dogs play, you will be able to do that. It looks like I already need to highlight, even though I haven't stitched anything because I didn't highlight properly the last time. And the hubby has, is running out to go get it clean his car because apparently some bags of sugar broke in his car. There's sugar everywhere for the sugar water that we make to kind of help supplement the bees. Um, here we go. And here we go. That we make for the bees to kind of supplement their um, feed and water and all that good stuff. Feed and water? Ah, feed and water. Food and water. Alright. So let's figure out where we need to be. And where that is is right here. Okay, just... Ah, but it was a great time. We got there we got there about 20, 30 minutes early and Got in right away. Well, got in right away as soon as it turned 9 o'clock. And, ah, boy, I just messed that up completely. I don't think that's... Yeah, it's not not right on the end there. So I'm going to cut that back so that it's lined up better. Um, so she had a grand old time. We only take her because, really, she's the only one who listens. She's also, like, one of those kids that dog kids that gets freaks out when their parents aren't around like when they know their parents should be there and they're not there now if she were at like daycare she wouldn't care she knows we're not there but when we're at an event like this and if she kind of wanders off and then loses track of us she starts to kind of freak out about where we are and so she's really easy to keep an eye on because she stays right with us the whole time Birds are happy. Fresh food and water. And yes, you are. But, anyways, that is where we're at. And, uh, yeah, so we're, um, I'm off this weekend. Very much enjoying my off day. I watch a lot of football. Gonna do a lot of stitching. Gotta work on some websites, but we're gonna do all the above. Let's see. 
So you're probably wondering how Topher is. So Topher is doing okay. He is definitely, he's acting more like himself. Um, he's getting around a little bit better. I think that front leg issue is now a permanent thing for him. Well, not permanent. Well, it'll be somewhat permanent. I mean, I don't think he'll ever walk right on that front left. If you guys didn't see the video on Thursday, my dog Topher had a um, stroke on, I think it was Monday? Sunday, Monday? Kind of lost track of the week after that. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey. I know they're talking about it too. They're like, let me tell you our perspective. And, um, Here we go. So he's, like I said, he's mentally more like himself. Um, he's definitely coming back, but he isn't um, anything that is. I should say he isn't anything that is. Uh... Sorry, my brain. I'm like I still can't shut it off. I got like ten thoughts going on in my head. That's what. When the birds are loud, that's kind of what happens. Hold on. Okay. I actually covered them up, so they're going to be a little bit quieter. I should have done it before I started. I thought about it, and then I was just like, I don't know. But I struggle to, like, have my thoughts together sometimes, so they don't help me a whole lot in that regard. But, another crazy week. Things are good. Doop, 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 doop. Bailey had a... I talked about that on the blog, the vlog I released yet, and Bailey had an episode where I think she just ingested something toxic and she kind of half collapsed on us, but she just needed to throw up and then she felt a lot better. And I still don't know what it was. Like I said, we scoured everywhere. Um, walked to the perimeter of the yard, made sure that nothing had flown in or been dropped in or we, that we were having issues with anything. And then from there we, uh, you know, she bounced right back and felt good. She does have a, um, a tooth issue that I need to take care of on Monday for her. I could have done it on Sunday. Well, I, I say I could have done it, but really I probably couldn't have. Um, taken her in and gotten her some relief from a tooth issue. I got to pull a tooth on her. and um, But I kind of was just taking the safe road, so to speak, and not putting her um, through anything else when she had just recently had that episode. One, two, three, four, here we go. I'm just looking. Okay, so I gotta do this one too. So, needless to say, a fair bit of stress in the household this week, but we're hanging in there. I want to have a nice, relaxing, productive weekend. And we'll see how it goes. Got some football to watch. And hockey uh, camps open up next week. So we are, we are happy. Very happy. This may be a nap day. I don't know. I nap uh, infrequently nowadays, but might need to nap. Zuzu's gonna need a nap. She's exhausted. So I reached out to uh, Gecko Rouge 
and uh, asked them about because we kind of lost touch. I kind and I kind of forgot for like a week there where they were going to talk to me about getting a replacement set of floss for the um, dachshund piece. And then I didn't hear back from them, so I finally I was like, "Oh yeah, that's right. I'm, let me reach back out to them." And they've sadly been dealing with some uh, medical issues with their their family run business, and they've been dealing with some issues. And um, I was super sorry to hear about that. That really stinks. I told them not to worry. Uh, family comes first, and you know just you know, just let me know when they're ready, but I'm, I've got other things, obviously, I can be working on, so it's not a big deal. I didn't know they were family-run. That's pretty cool. I could literally, well, I want to do the dachshund. I have that other piece of theirs, that's the, um, skeleton, um, the skeleton, um, uh, bride and groom. That I also want to do for a friend of mine, but I'll get to that at some point. It's some point. But I love the um, TV setup that my husband got all set up for me. Um, we switched over to Sling from Comcast, and now it's all like right there next to my computer and where I stitch. So I can, we literally barricade ourselves off from the dogs. Um, and especially yesterday, like I got home really late from work yesterday. I was like after six before I got home and it was storming. And my poor husband was like, you got to get home. Jelly's going crazy. And I'm like, well, that's what I've had to deal with with her when it's any time where there's thunder or anything like that. No matter what I give her and what I do for her, she just, she just wants me. And so I wasn't there, so she was all over him constantly. So, it's funny. It's not funny, but it's, she's fine. I mean, she's not, she could be freaking out so much more and she doesn't, so. Oops, not doing that one. Let me go back up and stitch in this part. Bitch. Cooled everything off. I don't know if we're going to get any more 90 degree weather days. We had a couple like 90, 92 days this week. And then this storm came in last night. We got some good rain, some good wind. And it's supposed to do it again tonight from what I understand. And then we um, hopefully... Um, it's going to be like in the low 80s for the rest for next week. So... Should be good. Should be good. I need a highlight. So. That. Bum, 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 bum. Bum, 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 bum. Bum, 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 bum. Football. So anyway, yeah, so the TV set up, so I was, like, watching some football last night. Oh, yeah, and my husband went and saw the new It movie, because um, he was really wanting He loves the old, original It. I could just, I did not want to go. I'm not, that's not my thing. And um, he said it wasn't, he, you know, he heard good reviews about it. It had good reviews, and his friends were like, yeah, it's good. And then he went, and he was like, it wasn't even that scary. But, see, the thing about him is that he not only is like, it takes a lot for a movie to scare him, it's the same thing with hot sauce. And so he needs like super spicy hot sauce to think anything is hot. So, he's the perfect husband for me. Because sometimes I over, well, sometimes I, I, I can overreact to things and be very sensitive to things. And then he's not. So he stays nice and calm. And he's like, everything's cool. Don't worry about it. So that helps. When you got somebody who's got your back, who's like, dude, chill. Do that, chill. And I'm like, okay. Okay. What do you guys think about Robert Pattinson being the new Batman? It's kind of weird. Of weird. I 
just, I don't know. I have to, like, actually see him on the screen. I'm sure that if he puts on, like, 20, 30 pounds of muscle, he'll he'll look more the part. And we did watch a video, um, an interview with him, and I'm like, well, I guess he has kind of grown up. He does. He is, like, 30 years old now. And, uh, so, I was kind of hard, I was kind of hard on the decision, because I'm like, that looks crazy. That looks ridiculous. And the reality is, is I don't really know how it's going to look. It's just one of those things where... DC Comics has not done the best job of picking people. I didn't think Ben Affleck was a good choice, personally, but I don't know, that's just me. Of course, they did pick Perfect Wonder Woman, and honestly, I love the Superman. I think they're going to you know, they're gonna find a new Superman, but or they're going to go in a different direction with Superman, but I felt like they it the, the actor was perfect for the role, I think they just, it's hard because Superman's just so overpowerful. That's the thing that my husband always says is that it's so hard to do anything dramatic with Superman because he can just come right in and he just takes over. He's so much more powerful than everybody else. It takes away the drama. This done. Gotta work on some stitching. We're gonna get there, dudes. We're gonna get there. So we ordered a new fish tank about a week ago now needed a bigger fish tank for down below we may have talked about this in the last video I can't remember but um, about 55 gallon 50 or 55 gallon gonna put the Pleco and the King Kong parrot fish in there and yeah, so I'm not sure like what else. I might just put a bunch of um, colorful Tetra, like some smaller ones, some neons, um, something like that, you know, just different size fish and whatnot, and give it a shot and see how it works. Um, I definitely want to add more fish. The King Kong parrot fish can be such jerks, though. So that's the big question about that is, can I put them in with anybody else? I may end up just putting, I could just put all the King Kong parrot fish in together and just say, deal with it, kids, because they used to be together. And then they would beat up on the one that was the smallest one, but now that one's the biggest one. He's grown the most. So, I don't know. I don't know. I need to clean the hamster's cage today. She's made kind of a mess of it everywhere. It's funny because it seems like hamsters don't like to mess where they sleep. Um, she has thankfully found it's awesome because the hamster cage has uh, the little hideaway on the very top where it has um, it's a little container that has I filled it with bedding and now whenever she sleeps I think she goes up there and actually sleeps in that spot because I always catch her kind of burrowing out from underneath of it which is perfect because that's exactly what I wanted to do so that's pretty cool we got football tomorrow Oh, yeah, okay, so if you're waiting for me to talk about my Bears, oh, my goodness gracious. I only watched the first quarter, and when the Packers came out in the second quarter and drove the ball down the field, I turned the I turned it off. I'm like, that's it, we've lost. Um, even though that was the only time they did that the entire game, and I could have come back, I'm like, the, the thing is is that our offense is not very good, and our quarterback is 
just not good enough. Um, there is such a vast difference between our guy and, say, Aaron, uh, and Aaron Rodgers, or honestly, even a, um, I'm going to highlight, honestly, even a Baker Mayfield. I mean, there's just that gut factor that I just need to throw it here at this point, and I know that my receiver's going to be here, and they're going to catch it, and that's just how we're going to do it, and I can, I have the confidence to throw it in there, and and not a lot of quarterbacks have that. Not a lot do. The best ones do. And that's why I was such a big fan of Baker Mayfield when he came out of college because I'm like, this, that's what this guy does. He just, he's like, well, I'm throwing this to a spot because that's where my guy's going to be and I can tell it's going to happen. I mean, he just makes it happen. I love watching that because so there's only a handful of people in the entire world that can do that in football. And so... It, they were so high on this kid. And the kid's a nice kid. Trubisky, he's a nice kid. He's a kid. But he only had one year starting experience. And that's just not good enough. It's just not good enough. If you look at... There's a whole thing where you can... Um, if you ever wanted to look at stats... What does that sound? something popping but um what was I saying if you sorry my brain um yeah okay so go back so my my most reliable stat in terms of um predicting future success in the NFL as a quarterback to me is number of starts you had in college. Um, I'm going to talk a lot of football right now. So for those of you guys who don't like sports, you may just want to mute it if you don't want to listen to me talk. That's that's totally fine. Um, let's, I mean, like, look at, let's go from, like, the West Coast. So you got, you've got uh, Russell Wilson, who played four years as a starter. He played um, three years at... NC State, and then he transferred and played a year at Wisconsin. So he had a ton of experience, knew how to play the game. Two different systems that worked out pretty well. Uh, you've got Philip Rivers, who was a he was at NC State too, and I want to say he was a three-year starter at NC State. Um, Jared Goff, I'm not 100% sold on Jared Goff. Uh, I want to say two years experience at Cal, but I don't 100% remember for sure. Um, some of these newer guys I don't know as well. Oh, I missed a stitch on this. I'll come back and get that. Um, well, let's see. Who else we got down here? Um, Oakland Raiders, Derek Carr. Where did he come from? Fresno State? Is he from Fresno State? He had a couple of years. He's serviceable. He's serviceable, but he he still has his own, he still has his own issues. Um, you know, Tom Brady is actually, I'm going to jump all the way over to the East, East Coast. Let's go with the best quarterbacks, at least. It, he had what like two to three years where it was like on and off starting they they had um brought a guy into michigan a young rookie who man i forgot that kid's name sadly everybody forgot that kid's name he was a like a big time star but he was a baseball star and a um football star and they recruited him to Michigan hoping that they could lure him into playing quarterback so that what they did was they sort of gave him the starting job over Brady even though Brady was probably a better choice um, and gave him an opportunity and then in the end he ended up going and playing baseball and honestly he wasn't he ended up not being very good at either thing he tried doing it was very unfortunate Here. So, anyway, so Brady had like a couple years, and then he just he had to sit on the bench for what a couple years too. So, um, Cam Newton has been on and off good. He only had one year of starting experience at the major college level. I want to say because he was the backup to was he the backup to Tebow at Florida, and then he went to then he went to Auburn, but he only played one year, won the Heisman Trophy. 
And he's been he's been good, but I don't think that you could say he's an elite passer. He's been able to run, and that's helped him out a lot. But he's also, I mean, you, some people could say, well, he hasn't lived up to his potential. It's like, well, he only had one really great year of Division One, you know, playing. Uh, a guy like Carson Wentz has had like I think he had like three years at what was it North Dakota State, something like that. Um, Drew Brees had, I think, three years at Purdue, a lot of starting experience. Um, of course, Manning had four years at Tennessee, or th three or four years, four years. Um, who else are we thinking of? Dak Prescott had three years at, was it Mississippi State? Um, Matt Ryan had three years at Boston College. Um... Matt Stafford had, I want to say, three years at Georgia. Um, it might have been two, but I think it was three. And like Mark Sanchez uh, only had one year of starting experience at USC. He turned out to be somewhat of a bust. I should highlight. Um, So it just kind of depends. I mean, if you're in a, if you're a smart dude, with all the quarterbacks are smart. You can't you can't not be smart and be a quarterback. It just doesn't work like that. Um, let's see. This right here. But I don't know. I mean, you've got a guy like Marcus Mariota who has just not performed up to his hype. Um, he was from Oregon, I think. I don't know how many. I want to say he had probably two solid years, maybe three. But his problem has been, well, first, his first problem was that he had a terrible offensive coordinator when he first came out into Tennessee. It was just not a very good fit. Um, and then... I don't know. He just he's been injured. He's been yeah. I mean I've I had some high hopes for him, but I just didn't think he was that established as a passer. You've got um who's that young kid? I don't know why I have oh, such a hard time remembering who the quarterback for the Jets is. That kid. I cannot I can I just struggle with his name. Um anyway, that guy. What was he? Was he USC? I think so. He struggled with it. It's so hard to play the game, but it feels like in order to be great, you have to have a lot of starting experience. And I just would never have drafted a guy who had who couldn't even beat out like the the guy in front of him. Like he he had to wait until that guy graduated. And I don't think that guy, whoever that guy was, even played in the NFL. So he couldn't even beat that guy out. And then he comes in, and he does have a really good year. But, I don't know. I don't know. But, we'll see. We'll see. I don't, I don't want to root against anybody. I just, I just think that there are some things that are practical and some things that aren't so practical. You guys want to talk about Antonio Brown? That's the wide receiver who just got released by the Raiders today. So quick synopsis for any of you guys who um, maybe don't know and are semi-curious to listen. Uh, wide receiver for the Oakland Raiders, um, one of the best in the game, definitely one of the best. Um, he's kind of like at the end of his prime time right now. Um, he was a very disgruntled dude last year. Felt like he was being disrespected. Um, felt that he wasn't getting his due diligence. Wanted a new contract. Wanted to make you know all this money. I understand that. Guy's guy's pretty great at what he does. Um, but acting like a baby at the end of the season, where he basically just didn't show up for the final game of the season, which was important. They might have been able to make the playoffs had they had a few things fallen in their favor, and he basically said, oh, yeah, I'm hurt, I'm not going to play. 
and just didn't even bother to like show up and very questionable about whether or not he was actually hurt or not. He just didn't want to play with them. So they traded him in the offseason to the Raiders, who then promptly signed him to a mega contract with all kinds of guaranteed money, like, I don't know, $35 million guaranteed, maybe more, I'm not sure, paying him a ton. And then he has spent the, ever since the um, preseason started and training camp started, he has been nothing but a circus, main attraction in a circus. Um, barely showed up to practices or training camp at all. Um, says, you know, he's got to use the helmet that he likes, even though it's not approved by the NFL because they're taking helmet design very seriously. They want to make sure that they do everything they can to protect the players. And he tried all these things to use this helmet that they are now banning and finally picked a new helmet. Everything was good. And then uh, came to the team I uh, said, well, I guess I got to start practicing or whatever. Uh, oh, yeah, there's also the thing of he was in a cryogenic, some kind of freezing therapy, and he got frostbite, frostbite on his bottom of his feet, so he couldn't practice for a little bit. Um, and, I mean, all these different things happened. The team ended up finding him because he's not been showing up, carrying on, causing all kinds of issues, just being superly, overly dramatic about everything. And... Then he got into a screaming match with the general manager. Um, he got fined again. He was told that they were no longer going to guarantee his contract. He would have to simply play it. And he could still get all his money if he actually played, but they took away his guarantees because he was causing so many issues. And then he got so offended at that that he asked for a release from his contract this morning. And the Raiders said, oh, there you go. Fine with us. They didn't pay him a dime um, not a dime. And I don't know if he's still like going to be forced to pay, like he got fined a total of, I think like $250,000 or something, which he has millions, but the dude like just like, because he cannot act like a rational human being, he's now lost guaranteed millions. And Here's, here's the thing about this. I think there's something literally wrong with him. And when I say that, I mean, I think that he has some kind of brain problem. Um, about three, four years ago, he got speared um, in the head by um, a, a player for another team. And uh, ironically, that guy is was a teammate for him now in, um, in Oakland. But he got, I mean, he got knocked out out and it was a very se se uh, severe concussion and part of me just wonders if he's got and I'm not making a joke like he literally like what kind of brain damage does he have um, because he's acting in such an irrational way it's not it doesn't even make sense like the things he's saying and the things that he's doing it just doesn't make any sense and uh it's just, I don't know. I mean, you can you can certainly say, well, he's acting like a jerk. He is a jerk. Blah blah blah. He's a drama queen, and, and all that's true to a certain extent. But how much of that might be also due to his uh, mental state? You know, because of what's been what's happened to him before. I don't know. I don't know. But. I'm not a Raiders fan, not at all. And I think that hiring John Gruden as their coach was a major mistake. Um, and uh, he's the one who wanted Antonio Brown, despite all the behavior issues. And then he couldn't he couldn't do anything to keep him happy enough to where he would just play, like just shut up and play. And uh, no, couldn't do it. Couldn't do it. Not gonna do it. Not gonna do it. So anyway, it's crazy. I just hope the dude's okay. I don't like to see anybody um, hurt themselves or because a brain injury is no joke. No joke at all. Alright, I'm trying to 
and I've been screaming about, not screaming, I've been very outspoken about concussions and things like that for many, many years, back when, before people started, like, before the NFL started taking it seriously. I would, you know, just, that's a concussion, that's a concussion. They've gotten a lot of the really bad things out of the game because they now penalize so severely when you hit somebody in the head. Like, it's such a big deal now. You, you, you'll miss games if you, especially if you look like you deliberately targeted their head. So that's kind of come out of the game a little bit. And so you don't see as many of those really bad concussions where the guys are out, like, the rest of the year. Um, it's something that they've been trying to get out of the game of uh, hockey as well. And um, I'm all for it. These guys are bigger and faster and stronger than they've ever been in these sports. You just can't hit each other in the head all the time and not expect there to be long-term permanent conditions from it. So we can still have a great game and not have as much of the crazy violence. We don't have to do it. Uh-oh, I hear sirens. Here comes sirens. Closer. Uh oh. Come closer. It always worries me whenever I hear him coming closer. There's more than more than one siren. Okay, now they're quiet. That's good. Didn't sound like they came right over to where we are here, which is good. wash my car too. My car is a mess. Cleaned it up some, but got that new uh, uh, carpet cleaner. Oh, I love that thing. I love that thing. I hope it lasts for quite a while. Please last. Kind of hard on our carpet cleaners with all of our crazies. some more sirens. Hmm. It's like a singular car. So that house down the street that I told you guys about, I think I told you guys about it. The one that like, you know, got bought at the height of the market. Uh, then got completely regutted, and they spent all this money and all these things. 
sure enough, somebody wants to buy it. You know, things are only, things are worth what, whatever people want to pay for them. It's, you know, it's, and that's varies so much. Um, it's, it's crazy. It's probably somebody who is new to town, doesn't really know the area a whole lot, but I mean, it's good for, it's good for us if they want to, if, if housing prices are going to continue to go up and even if the market goes down in some ways and then, I mean, it's good for us because we, uh, we definitely, we can definitely, uh, benefit from it someday. Not right now. tired though. Oh, I found this new exercise I saw. I don't remember who it was. I saw somebody doing it. It's really hard for me because I'm, I'm working on my strength and whatnot, but it's like literally where you are. I might want to do this. You're kind of doing a squat, like a deep squat, as far down as you can manage it, but at the same time, you are holding a dumbbell over your head. Like you've got one, one arm up straight up over your head and you're holding the dumbbell and you keep it up while you do the squat. Now I did that with a lighter dumbbell and even with that, it, you can feel it really working like your lower back on that side um, in a way that I haven't felt anything else really work it, that area. So that was pretty cool. So do some more of that this weekend. Try to just get stronger in different ways. Get stronger in different ways. That's how we do it. This is how we do it. Football season is upon us, and I'm so excited. I wasn't sure. I didn't think I would watch much football, but getting that TV, like, literally right in front of the computer is ridiculously beneficial for me. And so it keeps me right there, which is great. It's perfect. Ah, right at the end of this floss. I'm at the end of my floss. There we go. There we go. 
don't know if I can eke this out. That's the song that was been, been in my head. So my phone died there. I don't even remember what I was talking about. <laughs> but, oh, darn it. And then I left my papers downstairs. Hold on. Okay. I went downstairs and got them. And now I'm back. Yeah. I should have known my phone wasn't going to last the whole time. But that's okay. That's okay. Ella, ella. Okay, get a new color. But while I was downstairs, I took a couple of my papers. So while we're waiting for the phone to reboot, I grabbed a couple colors, another colors, another colors to help with the sigem. Mm -hmm. <laughs> cool if the fish tanks came this weekend, like today or something, it'd be awful. Awful cool? It'd be awful cool. I meant to say awesome, but it came out awful. It'd be awful. Okay, let's do a little bit of this, and then we're gonna, we're gonna switch over to the darker color after I get a little stitching down here. Mm -hmm. I think a nap is gonna be in my future. My shoulders and my back. I got home and uh, from the when we got home from the uh, pool thing, my uh, I came in. And I just my head just went exploded from a headache because um, I think because of just I wasn't wearing my sunglasses the whole time and that light off of the pool or the water surface sometimes just blinds you. I need to take some magnesium later. Magnesium. But I definitely feel it in my shoulders, my upper back. So I just got to stretch some today. Take a little something, something. Make myself feel a little something, something better. That'd be good. It's very good. So I have discovered that by using, because I'm using Adobe Premiere um, Pro, and then over here, um, for my video editing, which is just super easy, 
once you kind of get the hang of it, it's just super easy to use. But I've been using them for these videos. I used to use Adobe, not Adobe, I used to use Windows Movie Maker, which is free. Um, but it just takes, everything takes longer. I'm like, everything takes a lot longer. So I'm cutting out probably a good, at least a quarter, if not half of the um, time it takes to, to put together one of these videos. So because of that, I'm going to try and go a little longer with this video today. Longer than normal. I should be able to do that. I got it. I made sure I had enough memory on my phone that I could do a longer video. So we shall see. We shall see. I found a new YouTuber. Um, at least one. I think did I tell you guys about the guy that um clogs the drains, like the city drains, when like in a storm when they get clogged up with like debris pine needles, you know, such, um, and he goes around and unclogs them, and they're just fascinating videos to watch, if you just want to watch, like, water drain, which I know that sounds kind of funny, but it's so therapeutic, uh, it's so nice to just watch something like that, and, uh, so yeah, it's kind of fun to watch him do that, but it's, um, it's something that, uh, I kind of suck. But anyway, so then in the in the search for other similar type videos, I found this video from um, the the channel. I want to say the channel is called 10th Generation Dairyman. And it's just really neat um, to watch a working farm, you know, like all the things that go into it. My grandparents had um, a working beef cattle farm, much smaller than, you know, like 50 head at any one time and it was just a smaller family farm kind of thing and um and uh at least at least that I remember it may have been bigger at one point but uh it's just cool to watch and so they were pulling in the corn silage uh corn silage is a kind of corn product that is meant for feeding dairy cow um it's not a Con human consumption product and so when they go through and they use the combine and the thresher or whatever and this thing's combine threshers are for weed I believe and uh, when they're doing all that I got a highlight here um, they got some really great drone pictures and they got some I mean it was really really neat to watch them bring it and bring in the crop um, it was really cool and so, oh, puppy's home, and um, it's something that I, uh, I'm gonna watch. I've been watching more of his videos just to kind of, you know, it's just therapeutic. Just watch somebody else doing stuff. But kudos to that kid. Just like most kids, you know, using a YouTube channel to, you know, show what they do and get people more informed and make some money. So, no for them. Good for them. All right, almost done with this color. Bum, 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 bum. Hmm, where was I exactly? Where? Oh, I didn't highlight everything like the way I should have. If I had highlighted everything, I would have been able to tell where I was pretty fast. But I didn't do it. Pop goes the weeds. Here. Hmm. Okay. And then up 
here. And honestly, that's probably it. Is that gonna be, that's not gonna be it. Let's see, where am I? Here, here. I can hear Zuzu, Zuzu squeaking the toy she got today. She always knows she always knows that she gets a special treat, you know, a special bag when she goes to these events. And so she is uh, she likes to walk around with her whatever she gets, a little toy. Bum, 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 bum. At least we'll have a, another visible portion of baseball done this week. I worked on... What did I, what did I work on? I was working on raining Waterloo. And... I did a little bit on Reaper, but I need to do more today. Boom, 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 boom. Okay. 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 Yeah, I think that might be my future. I don't know, we'll see. I hope I don't. I, I got too much to do. We'll see. I definitely need a stretch. I need a stretch. For a stretch. My kingdom for a stretch. Look at that. Look at all that we got done today. All that right there. Happy little trees. Happy little ball field. darker color. The darker color. I'm gonna use a little bit of this. We just kind of fill in some stuff. Make it pop a bit more. I guess the other thing too is that my, my back is stronger, so I'm able to sit here longer, which is awesome. There we go. 
Here we go. Can't believe it's already midday. It's crazy because like on my days off, like on Thursdays when I have the day off, it feels like I get so, like I get so much done. And then it takes so long to get to noon. And then once it's noon, it's like the day goes by so fast. And Saturdays it's like the opposite. Saturdays are like noon get noon, noon hits really fast and then the afternoon goes really slow. At least it seems like it does. Oops, let's go over that again. There we, ow! There we go. There we go. Bless you, my husband. I just sneezed down there. Sounds like he's down there making something. I wonder what he's making. Uh, let's pull that out. Hmm. Hmm. Not a hundred percent sure where I'm supposed to be there. I said, you know, oh, that's gonna be a longer video, and now honestly, my back is starting to really bother me. So I'm gonna finish it up here. A little longer video, not as long as I was kind of hoping to get, but we got a lot done. We got all this done here. We got a little bit filled in here, and I do plan on. I'm gonna take this down. I'm gonna work on this a little bit more, so we get a bit more done on it. And then uh, we're going to move on to something else today, and then something else and something else. We, I'll see you guys on Monday. We're going to do a, um, a video probably, I don't know, we might do Heaven and Earth Designs this time. 
since we were talking about it, um, Golden Kite's a possibility, Scarlet Quince is a possibility. We've got so many different ones that we could do. So, but we'll do that. And then, uh, yeah, I'm still making other things. I'm still trying to get some stuff together. I'm just, yeah, there's so much to do. But I also put out a video today for the, um, um, uh, the thing we went today with Zuzu, the dog, the big dog craziness that we went to. So, um, yeah, so we're just working on this area right over here, where the umpire is, this general area. And, uh, but yeah, thanks for hanging out with me. And I'm going to hopefully have this up in a couple hours. And hope you guys enjoy it. I will see you soon. Happy stitching.